Warning, this podcast contains bad words and stories about drugs and sex and overthrowing the government. Proceed with caution. Thank you. And now on to our show. Wake up, brother, we got nothing to do. Let's go outside, just me and you, and build a fort. We'll pack a lunch, won't be home till after dark. Then after dinner, we can sneak back out. You know that high school girl I've been telling you about well she gets undressed about a quarter to nine and we can watch her do it from the big old pie next door she got a room on the second floor well looks like another fucked up day in paradise we're gonna go bring the raft in yeah, it's time. Summer vacation. Done. Gonna go bring the raft in. November 15th. Um, and there's a little bit of ice forming on the lake. Not, not on the lake, but on the rocks at the edge of the lake. And on the cribs for the Hobie Cats, which we'll take a peek at maybe as we go out there. Or any in any business, if you want to be successful mm-hmm. in... Like show business, or, yep. you know, it doesn't have to be just modeling. If it's music, whatever. Yeah. If you want to be famous, you have to have an Instagram following. Period. And, and so, it, I mean, as opposed to a Facebook following, a Twitter follow. I mean, well, social media, but primarily Instagram. All right, good to know. Good to know. Okay, keep going. So she said, like, for instance, she took a model to uh, a big agency in New York, and they would not sign her. And then she said, you know, this girl has 4,000 followers on Instagram, and they signed her. Uh Uh-huh. Interesting. So I wanted to tell you that because I don't know how much you're posting on Instagram. Right. Well, uh, Daughter of God actually has an account on Instagram, and so do I. And I occasionally stick stuff on Instagram... You know, like once in a while, I just really didn't think about it as a very, you know, a big deal because it's exactly. like, well, anything too. It's just like I, I, I have so many things, so many moving parts to this movie and social media is one of them. And so I'm not, I'm, I, I, I definitely think the message you're bringing me is something that's like coming from the cosmos. It's like, hello, you know, Dan Kelly, you've been doing your due diligence, feeling happy all the time. <laughs> yes. And so here's Jill calling you up and telling you this thing that she heard from her her high-end model agent. Okay, so let me ask you, having heard that, what are your plans? What are you going to do? Well, first of all, the, I was thinking of modeling, but the, log- the logistics are wrong for me to be modeling right now. But why? maybe that's not what? why I called her. It doesn't really matter. Okay. It doesn't really matter, and here's why. Because what what I'm doing about it is I am getting Sue Ann to get on Instagram to, to do this. So yesterday I went over and um, did a photo shoot with me and Violet in the gallery. And okay. she's going to start posting shit on Instagram. She's going to start doing this. Because uh-huh. what that's going to do, it's going to help promote the gallery. It's going to help promote me. It, because... In order to get up, be on Instagram, have followers, you kind of have to have a thing. Yeah. So for me personally, I'm a model, whatever. Yep. Attractive. Yep. I have a pig. Yep. I have a weird haircut. Yep. I'm an artist. So yep. that's yep. like, Dude. that's a bunch of stuff. <laughs> okay. So that's going to benefit Sue Ann. It's going to benefit me. It's going to benefit the gallery. It's like a whole big ball of wax. It's all in one. Holy and she's also shit. involved with this outsider artist in New York that now she's on his following him and he's following her. So the whole viewer audience is building. And I, I so my thing is to get her. I told her what I told you. So we're get, we got to, you know, hit this hard on the Instagram thing. Mm-hmm. 
Because basically being famous brings you success, what you want. If it's well, being it, it, an artist, it, it, it brings you money. It's like whatever. It yeah, 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 yeah. Well, uh, uh, <laughs> I'm, right? loving, I'm loving you saying this. This is so hilarious. Keep going. Go, go, go. Yeah. So, and, <laughs> and, then, and then there's you who needs to be doing this too because no. it's all together. It's all clumped together because, you know, since we're all, we do these things that are together and it's all congruent, you know, we could all be lumped in with you and me and the art and the pig and the movie and the whole deal. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, like, yeah. You're right, you're right. And and so... Yeah, but it doesn't have to be connected at all. No, I mean, no, I... I at all. No, but dude. that's what I'm doing. Dude, I love... Well, that's exactly what I'm asking you because you're my partner in crime. I, I, yeah. I want to know what you're doing because you clearly... <laughs> have caught on fire about this and that's kind of what I need. I need to catch on fire more. Like right now, um, I'm having, I'm, I'm signing a contract with my friend Emily. So, so I've, I've got a kind of a big vision here and maybe I need to just build it more from the ground up. But let me just kind of give you a real quick overview. I've got my friend Emily who's a copyright, a copy editor. She, she's a freelance copy editor. She's a copy editor for the New Yorker and, and, Whatever, just like just meeting standards, okay? And so she's jumping on the website and it's going to start copy editing the text that's there. And, and it's going to take her a long time to go through all the transcriptions, but I'm going to have her do all the menus and all the basic stuff first. Mm -hmm. Then the next thing is, okay, so uh, I'm going to rearrange the website a little bit, I think, too. And, and, and for me, I'm trying, I am trying to like... The, you know, this, this, new, this new season coming up, the final season in theory of the Daughter of God cast. It's like, okay, so what the fuck am I doing? And so I'm, I'm thinking of a lot about this right now because it's like, okay, what, how to bring this movie to a finish with thousands and thousands and thousands of people fucking following it? Because the podcast is good. And you're like, like you say, you know, I, this is something I've been thinking about a lot. The reason I started the podcast was to get people aware of the movie. And, mm -hmm. and, uh, it's had, you know, it's been successful on other fronts, but it doesn't have like thousands and thousands of followers. So I'm like, okay, what else do I need to do? What else has to happen to get that, you know, to be more out there? And, and yeah, so it's like Instagram, I'm hearing from you that Instagram is kind of important. And it's, it's funny because the stuff I post on Instagram, it's usually like something I really want to post because I'm just bored. And I'm like, this is funny. Let's put this on. And it's weird. I actually have been getting strangers following me just from barely even posting there at all, which never happens on Facebook. Right. And it's not the first time that I've heard that, that Instagram is the place to be. It's not. This is not news to me, except from my model ag agency. She really validated it. Like, oh, this is a real thing. I mean, I've heard it before, but coming from her, yeah. that's then that's true then. Then yep, it's fact. Yep, I'm with you. So, so this is really good information and, and you're, you're just good buddies with this woman. She used to be your agent and you're still really good friends with her. Yeah, I've worked with her for over 40 years. I knew her from when I was 20 years old. I mean, she said what the information she gave me, she would charge $200 an hour for Of course. Her, she's going to just tell me. Of course, know? that's why I'm saying. I mean, she's a, she's yep. a high-end person and your buddy, so you got all this good information from her. Um, yes. Like you say, it's a shtick. You know, you're, you're kind of having a little fun with this idea of who is, you know, this Jill Johnson character. You know, exactly. she's got a pig. She's pretty. She's got a pig. She's got short hair. She's an artist. <laughs> okay, yeah, so there's your, char yeah. there's your character. Exactly. And that's great. Now, and here's, here's where I'm the flaw in what you just said, is that you don't have to compartmentalize yourself or your life or your the Dan Kelly character. I don't know why you would even have to do that because it's all fascinating. Every element, every facet of you is fascinating. I don't see any need to just pick one thing and put it out there. I mean, it should all be under the Dan Kelly heading, but it's like, this is the stuff that Dan Kelly does. Yeah, yeah. He's doing this. He's doing this. He's got poop in the yard. He's pooping in buckets. He's got mud on his face. Now, he, remember the video where you were putting that charcoal all over? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, all the stuff. Or your, you know, your um, filibusters from the bathtub. Like, they're all just fucking brilliant and so much fun to watch. Okay. Everything. Even, even when you have put out videos of other people like you put you made a video you put a video out of um what's her name luna it's not her name lena Le lena uh lena with the milky fingers oh yeah yeah yeah. way back when that sure. could be the dan kelly show part yeah, of the dan yeah, kelly yeah, show yeah, yeah, yeah. i mean it's all good stuff and it all 
comes it's all congruent because it's all coming from you i don't know why you would feel the need to compartmentalize the dog well dog. well the, like, this is great to talk about because I, I haven't really i haven't really sorted this out in my own head but uh, talking to you is making this a little more clear for me I okay. was taking sort of a studio approach in the sense that Daughter of God will be a project and it's going to deal with certain things in certain ways that are unique to it. And then down the road, I might make a different project that's completely for a completely different audience. And the idea that like Daughter of God is this weird science fiction, post-apocalyptic, you know, kind of trippy thing and certain audiences will gravitate towards that. And it's okay. So this is here. This is where this is coming from. Have you got another like half an hour? Because it's gonna take a little while. I have a feeling. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. When I was doing art shows, traveling around in Florida, trying to sell my fucking paintings, right? Yeah. I encountered this woman, and you know, 2000 whatever it was, three or four was a terrible thing time to get into art shows because it was just like everybody was saying, oh, the business is failing. You know, it's there, no one is coming to these these art shows anymore, the customers have really dropped off, blah, 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 blah. And so uh, I'm like, oh, great, I start at the worst time. And so I'm like, well, let me let me see who's actually still standing here. And so I'd wander around and look at the different people's booths and what they were selling. And I got to be friends with one lady and she brought me into her booth and I almost fell on my ass. It was the same painting with slight variations of a palm tree. And every painting, you know, every painting in her booth was that. And I was yeah. like, it was nightmarish. It was like, oh my God, she found the one thing that people kept yeah. buying over and over and she just made her whole fucking booth full of it. Yeah. And, and I'm like, okay, that's not how I want to end up. That's not, like, that was my moment right there when I met that woman. Yeah, I, had, yeah. I, I had this crazy insight. I'm like, oh my God, that could be me if I'm not careful. And I never want that right. to happen to me. I never want to basically find myself either consciously or unconsciously funneled into this tiny little avenue. So, right. sorry, I'm yelling at you. So, so, no, uh, 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 so this brings me back to now. So if I make daughter of God cast or I make the daughter of God and I finish it and it's actually kind of hits in the certain genres, then, you know, what happens then is that the next movie I have to make, does it have to be like that? Or can I make something completely different? And if it's just, if it's just Dan Kelly, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I guess my, my point is that, yes, this is a, you can kind of see where I'm going here with this. I want to be able to make different projects and not have an audience, one audience be disappointed or expecting one thing from me and then get another. And that, that's kind of why, you know, actors get typecast. It's a, it's a sad thing for artists that they get kind of knocked into this, you know, sort of wrestled into this little corral and they have to stay there the rest of their career. So... Having said all that, I will say that, look, that may be true, but I don't actually have time right now to maintain multiple project accounts, especially with zero staff. So I should just, like you say, do the Dan Kelly show and it will be a combination of all the things I'm fucking doing and, and, and just be polymathic to the max and fuck it and not worry about it. None of that stuff even matters. It, none of it matters. All this. The compartmentalizing for different audiences and stuff. That's all bullshit. Get rid of that. Get rid of it. <laughs> okay, tell me why it's bullshit. Explain that to me. Because it's it's small thinking. None of that matters. It's, it's, it's just like, um, none of that matters. None of that matters. <laughs> none of that's true. And none it's of... just, it's, it's getting in your way. Because... So... So what I'm hearing you say, what I'm hearing you say is... everything on Instagram and have it all, but at least have it all be Dan Kelly. What I'm, he what I'm hearing you say is that that whole thing about getting put into a box is just a fucking fear. And, and yes. that's, that's the thing that's driving the, my motivation is I have some kind of weird fear. I'm afraid of something. And so yes. I'm doing this very convoluted sort of a whatever to... Yes. Yeah, got it. That, yes. That makes and sense. And you're also... Um, you know, thinking that this movie has to be perfect, it's got to be finished, it's got to be, it stands on its own with these podcasts. I mean, the podcasts stand on their own as being the movie and part of the movie. The yeah. movie doesn't just have to be the movie, the tw an hour of movie. The whole thing, yeah. the whole ball of wax that is Dan Kelly.
really is all very interesting. <laughs> and there are a million facets which makes it interesting. It doesn't have to be just a movie. It doesn't have to be just art or music. It's all of it. All of it's interesting. Mm -hmm. So have it in all, one big chunk, like a department store. <laughs> keep putting that shit out there. It's don't so even second guess it. Just keep putting it out there, putting it out there, putting it out there. Damn, and don't girl. Edit. And don't worry about the grammar not being right. Like, don't worry about the sentence structure. Don't worry about any of it. Because as it is, it all is great and stands on its own. And it's so much fun. All of it is so much fun that you're getting. I think fear is making you worry about things you don't need to worry about, and it's slowing your process down and getting in your way. Like, yeah, yeah, you're right. Like it's not ready. It's got to go to this editor person, and you know, you're you're thinking about that stuff. And I think you just need to get it all out there. Yeah, and I guys, I'll say this: the the other thing. Yeah, you're right. The other thing about getting this copy editor involved is I'm also I'm calls. I guess in a way, I'm sort of seducing her a little bit because my my thought is that. Um, you still there? Yep. My thought is that, you know, she's actually a very smart and interesting woman like you are. And mm -hmm. my thought is like, you know, and, but she also has this, she also has this, you know, like your friend, the model agent lady, she has this, she's been to the top of her game as well. And so it's yep. like to have this person involved in my writing process can only help me become a better writer. To no. put it out there. Well, no, no, you know that you know transcripts are already out there. The website is already out there, and all okay. she's going to do, she's going to crawl over it over the next few months and make it okay. even better. But okay. you're right, you're right. I'm, I don't want to. I, I want to confirm with what you're saying. Confirm what you're saying. A lot of decisions that I kind of started off with, I was I was juggling too many balls. Maybe maybe fear had a part of it. You know, I could definitely see where the, where you're coming with that, and I, I can see it in myself too. But I think. Also, it's just like, well, I want to do this. It's it's such a weird thing when it, you have such a complicated project that it's like, okay, well, what do I need to pay attention to, and what don't I? And yeah. Well, your 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 gut's going to tell you that. What's exciting? What yeah. do you feel like posting today, for instance? Yeah, 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 yeah. And if you can't come up with anything because you're because you're maybe anxious, there's some fear operating, so you're blocked. Yeah. Just close your eyes and jump off the cliff and just put something out there yeah 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 okay so so then right back to you so so what's your plan just gonna basically randomly throw daily shit you know whatever comes to your mind whatever sort of shows up in your experience you're gonna share that on instagram well here's the thing i don't have a smartphone so i am not on i have an instagram account but i can't do instagram because i don't have a smartphone Dude. But Suan does. So as far as the art gallery goes, I mean, I've got all these other things I'm doing. So, mm -hmm. so it's up to her to do it. And whether she does it or not, something's still going to happen. Like, because I, I don't, I, just, I'm manifesting stuff. So whether she, she puts it on Instagram or not doesn't really matter. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? I mean, it's going to get there anyway. But, um... Let's see. That's not a specific answer. Well, well, here's the yeah. Here, I want to say this about. I want to say this. Okay, here's what I want to say. Na, 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 na. Look, you're on fire right now. This is brilliant, and and you're fucking teaching me. Okay, remember I told you I think you're a little bit farther along than I am. I am feeling it more and more, and I am so happy. I'd love to have you teach me more stuff from the vortex. Okay, so what I want to say to you is. I kind of think you want. I want you to think about this. I know you. You know. I want to put it right back at you. Um, the smartphone thing, the Instagram thing. I'm imagining how much fun it would be to do the Instagram experiment with you and be like, okay, we both have Instagram accounts. We're doing our Instagrammy things and we're basically looking at each other's Instagram and, and we're, we're playing with stuff and seeing who fucking gets excited about us and we can talk about it and get it, you know, have a back and forth and, and, and tweak it and make it more crazy. So I want you to think about this idea of having an Instagram account and how you could do it and why you should do it because I'm, I'm, I'm sold. You sold me. Okay. But it would be so much more fun to do this with you because you know, you're on fire. Okay. So she just, she just can't, uh, she's not great.
great with the phone and the idea. She's just fumbling around. She's not doesn't understand. So if I had a phone, for instance, for instance, I would take you know those dolls I made. Yes. Those dolls that are in the you know the, that house full of dolls. Yep. Those all those dolls that looked alike. You saw them. They were sitting on my. Yeah, yeah. I know exactly what you're talking about. Oh, yes. Okay. So yes. Like I would take Violet. Violet is a freaking gold mine for people. Strangely enough. I'm always surprised with how crazy people get over this pig. Uh-huh. And I'm feeling like it's just a pig, but people mob her. Yeah. And they take pictures of her, and it goes everywhere. Yeah. Everybody knows Violet. Yeah. It's, and I don't know who they are. It's everywhere. People come up go, oh, that's Violet. This pig is every fucking where. It's bizarre. Okay? <laughs> so I'm going to use her little spoiled ass. I can take those dolls. I can have her carrying one around in her mouth. She can fetch. She can do all this stuff. Like, I could put a little saddle on her with all those dolls. I could could use the artwork in Violet in some weird way. And who knows? It's just, that's not any one big thing. But that was the first, that's maybe what I would do today. There you go. So, so. It's nothing. But, I mean, I'm just going to, whatever it is I'm inspired to do for that particular day, I'm not going to overthink it. I'm just going to snap the picture or whatever and send it out. I mean, yep. and it's just going to start like that. Yep. Good. Good. And so, okay, so, so all you really need is a phone. <laughs> yeah. Yep. yep. But, I mean, yeah. Yep. And that, and I'm going to. It's, uh, it's, you know, taking, I mean, that's not my thing to do that, but I, I would, because well, but, I think that this is what, I'm, this is the way to do it. Yeah. When you say, this is not really the thing I want to do, well, I, I want to challenge that a little bit, because you don't yet, I don't think, if I can be so bold as to say, I don't think you exactly know everything that you want to do yet. Well, but here, you're right, and it, the thing with the phone and the picture taking, yeah. it's not something I want to do because it's not something I've done. So it's 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 sort of a, a thing that I have not yet learned to appreciate. Got it. But once I get better at it and it becomes more fun to be creative with a camera, I'm going to be I'm going to like it because that, I'm a creative person. It's just another medium. Exactly. That's exactly what I was going to say. Like you, I don't yeah. think you, I don't think you know you're. Yeah, you you have it right on the nose. When you start playing with this. And yes. you actually get a hundred people, yeah. you know, fucking going, yay, we love that, like, seconds after you post it. You yes. know, it's not, it's not going to be like, oh, look at me, I'm famous. It's going to be like, oh, what kind of crazy shit can I do now? Exactly. I think that's what I'm trying to say is I'm not familiar with the, the medium of a camera. Like, yeah. I'm not, that's, but I will. As soon as I start to figure that out, I will like it just like I like my colored pencils. Yep, yep, yep. And so, yeah, and 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 so, so there you go. That's that's kind of why I'm I, I wanted to just kind of be, you know, really clear about that because you're stepping into, um, you're 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 now stepping into more of my territory, and and mm-hmm. and I'm so excited that you are these dolls with fucking violet. You're gonna be a film fuck. You're gonna be a filmmaker. That. If you do shit like that and walk down the street, you're a filmmaker, Jill. That's all there is to it. <laughs> Seriously. She's hilarious. I mean, we, at the end of the leash, watching her haul ass while I'm trying to keep up behind her, and she's barking. I mean, it's so funny. There's so many moments where I'm just thinking, I wish I had, like, a GoPro on me or something. Or something <laughs> because there's a lot of things that happen with her that are just ridiculous yeah right mm-hmm. and you know you what really else have... i mean there's all there's other things too i mean you've got you've got uh you've got all your arts and and you know like, like i also can imagine like once you get into this there's just going to be stuff that you never even thought of that will just become pretty prominent i'm guessing yeah it could be a really fun medium cool and if that's the way to go then there's a purpose for learning it and for doing it. Well, what's lo- what I love about this conversation is that you're changed. I want to tell you something. You have changed, and it's a really cool change. I'm really, really happy to see this. Um, if I can be such a, you know, if I can be so arrogant as to tell you this. Yes. Before, months ago, many months ago, you were pretty disempowered about being able to bring your work to the world. Yeah. You were totally dependent yeah. on this gallery woman, which is fine. 
But it's like, she's the only way. I'm like, what about galleries in Chicago or New York? Well, yada, yada. You know, there wasn't really any way to have a plan to do that. Now, you're like, you're fucking on fire with like, I'm going to take over my own presence in the fucking world. And I'm going to basically, people are going to find out about me. It's going to be so much fun. Yeah. And that's... I know. Well, thank you that you started it, Dan. Well, you we, did this. We're, I, I you will, fucking started it. All I can say is, you know, this is this is how it works. I mean, I... I I'll, okay, fine. I started it. But look at what you're... You're taking this now to the next level. And I'm getting dragged along by the force of your momentum. <laughs> <laughs> Great. So how cool is that? I'm excited. Yeah, I definitely think it's just because I've been thinking differently and... I mean, I've learned so much from you, so I give you, I blame you for this. It's so funny with all these different good things that we're doing, um, and and you know, like for me, it's been it's been interesting lately because I feel like uh, I feel like some deep stuff is kind of surfacing that needs to be processed because of what I've been doing with Esther and Abraham, and I. I, I feel the stuff is like, oh, this is like some old, some old stuff, old, mm-hmm. you know, wounds or, or, you know, stories that I told myself or, or who knows what. Um, mm-hmm. But it's funny. This stuff is coming up and I'm like, OK, you know, this is good. I want this stuff to come up. I want to basically let everything that's been holding me down and back emerge and show itself. I'm ready. Let's do it. Pain, physical pain, emotional pain. It doesn't matter. I'm ready. Mm-hmm. And, and so that's been good. Um, but at the same time, it's like, okay, well, you know, I'm expecting some results here. <laughs> yeah. And, and that's the, you know, that's the, that's the thing that, that, you know, is, is cute because, you know, whatever it's like, okay, well, am I happy where I'm at right now? Really? Am I really happy? Is this, is this good? What's happening for me, and am I am I you know appreciating it? And you know the answer is yes. It's a little bit it's a little bit of a struggle, but I'm also really appreciating like oh okay this is this is to, this is what it is to be aware. This is what it is to pay attention and to be present. And yeah, I don't know. Does that make any make any sense at all? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, and I've been um, noticing some things too. And what I'm noticing is just the con- it's contrast. Okay. And that doesn't throw me anymore because I just, I realize it's contrast because I have a new, oh. my, I have, I, there's something else that I want now. Wow. That's so cool. Yeah, so that's, what I'm seeing now that it's, that I'm not enjoying, it's like, oh, contrast. This means I'm moving up. <laughs> if this is, if this is annoying me over here, that means that I've outgrown something and I'm headed for something bigger and better. Good for you, man. Right? That's, that's right. So yeah, totally. those moments of contrast, and you've said this to me. You've said this very thing about the contrast. Mm. It's just telling you what you want. Yep. And so that's exciting because that tells me more is coming. Something yeah. bigger and better is coming. It's so crazy. I mean, it's just so funny to hear you saying this stuff. I'm so fucking proud of you and I'm so glad you're my friend because... I mean, this is stuff that, that, you know, you're, it's, yeah, it's stuff I've told you, but you're, you're really, you've, you've got it now. You, you're really, you're, you really have taken it, you've really internalized it, and it's operating inside of you now, which is super fucking cool. Well, I don't want to be stuff, I want to be better all the time. I just wasn't, I didn't have the right tool. I wasn't coming across the right tool. I know, know? I know, exactly. came along. Exactly. Yeah, Yeah. and it's really crazy how, how effective these tools are it's like oh my you know because you know yeah. people say oh believe in jesus or 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 you know meditate you know she says meditate but you know like whatever like you yeah. know do yoga do whatever and you know lots of things are helpful but this is super efficacious this shit works mm-hmm. it really does oh yeah i mean things are flying in so fast it's amazing it's spinning my head around what made you uh, what what prompted you to want to call your uh, model agent lady because I've been watching on Facebook, stuff pops up on Facebook with these, I'm seeing these older women. Yeah. I mean, women's, women are, the whole role of women, women are getting their power back. Yeah, for sure. Something's happening here. And a lot of older women are showing up and they look amazing. Yeah. And they have these great careers. I mean, I'm seeing more and more and more of them. So I thought, I've always, lo- I 
you know, I had a really good modeling career. I mean, the, the stuff that I turned down would blow your mind because I just was a baby. I wasn't ready. I didn't handle it well. So I just, I didn't take full, the advan- advantage of it like I could have. Yeah. So I always felt bad about that. But maybe I'm supposed to be modeling now. In fact, maybe I'm still too young. Well, maybe it's going to happen that. 10 years from now when Gus is out of school and I can travel a little bit. Maybe I don't even want to be him. Maybe it's not even that. But anyway, I was thinking... I don't even have to be a model. I get to be famous. <laughs> I had this one idea calling her, but then it's like the pieces of the puzzle are sort of falling into place. Yeah, you, she clarified some. She clarified some things for you. You know, you, she told you about you know what you might have to do, and you're like, oh, I don't really want that. And so, mm-hmm. yeah, you got you just got really clear about what it was you're trying to create. Yeah, and she reminded me that work most of the time working the basic modeling work is like catalog stuff. It's not. It's not stuff that I. I, I, I sort. Of, I forgot. I would rather be a star. All right. So that's that's exactly. It. So what does a star do, Jill? You know, stars sing. They they act in movies. They no they, no. Well, let me, on, let me say. Well, I have one word for you. Hang on. Card- Kardashian. Well, I I don't really. I'll, I don't really How follow. Famous are I, they, and what do they do? I don't. Really, I don't really follow them, but I, I understand where you're going with that. They're just them. Yeah. Right, but but the thing is, like you know, they're also hated by so many people, and because well, that's because they're assholes. But well, we wouldn't be right, hated. but that's that's exactly it. My that's my point is that is that you know what is it that that you know? Okay, so I guess I guess I'm hearing you saying you're saying it's like look, it's not so much about the art. Some art objects or art experience I create. I am the art. <laughs> yes, and so are you. Well, yeah, and and so I want to just you know I want to just play with that for a second. Let's just play with that. So, what does it mean to be the art? Is it something that? See, I have this saying, and it goes like this. And again, maybe this is fear based, but I, I want you to hash this out with me because that's your job. So, okay. I want to be famous among cool people. I don't right. want to be famous among just, I would really be able to, to like to walk down the street and not be recognized. Right. <laughs> now, again, that sounds, that could be a little fear-based and, you know, maybe most celebrities, but I'm just thinking ahead here. What, you know, what would happen if you got super famous? Well, then you'd have to have like, so, so what kind of famous do I want? I'm, I'm talking about clarity here. It's not a bad subject. This is a good subject. I'm talking about clarity. What kind of fame am I, am I interested in having? Um, and, and so that's something I'd want to think about. So if I'm, if I'm putting it out there, like, that's, a, that's the other thing about the daughter of God. It's like I could be, you know, someone could know about the daughter of God, and, and maybe they're not following, you know, they're not following it to me. They just know about this movie. And then what, you know? Well, oh, he's the guy that made, Dan Kelly, the guy that made Daughter of God. Oh, I, blah, 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 blah. So the, I guess the point is that if you have this one thing and you are the art, you never get a vacation. Right. And, and, and that's all I'm, that's the only thing I'm concerned about is I want to be able to do something creative and not abandon it, but be able to step back from it and not have it be the thing that haunts me. The other thing too, is that if I'm, if I'm doing a separate thing, like this idea of separate audiences, let's talk about that for 10 seconds. So let's say I do something where it's got like people ass fucking goats in it, Right. And then I have this great idea for a children's movie. <laughs> so, you know, that, that, I guess that's the thing. It's like if everything I do is in one place, then I never get a break from anything I've ever done. And, and you know, that's, that means that I'm, you know, I'm, I'm just... And I guess, again, it's like once you get that famous, then it doesn't matter what you've done, I suppose. But, yeah, no, what do you think about all this? I'm just leave, putting it out Good, good for but you. Right now, don't let this stop you from doing anything. Just put it away. Yeah. Just show this for a while. Yeah, okay. Good but idea. Don't let it stop you and don't give it too much attention because I think that the, it's fear based. It's kind of like going, uh oh, what if, what if, what if. Yeah. It's I a guess. little bit of what ifing, and I don't think you ever need to be doing that. Yeah, it's funny. I, I don't know. I mean, the what ifing is, is, is. You know, it can be, it, yeah, I'm with you all the way, and I, I, I appreciate that encouragement. And what is the what is the what ifing? What is that about? Is it just fear, or is yes. it cl- or is it clarity? I want to know. What do you think? Um, 
I, I agree with you. Hemi, let's say this. I agree with you that this might be trivia right now and that we deal with this later. But, but that's the thing I'm also coming up with is like, well, what is clarity? What, what does, what does clarity look like? Yes. I'd like to have a girlfriend. Do I want her to be psychotic? No. Okay. I want a girlfriend who's not psychotic. Okay. What else? You know, and in fact, you kind of just start narrowing it down because you get clear because okay. of contrast. That's fair enough. I think it only is, uh, it, it, if it's, I think it only, whether it's fear or not, or just looking for clarity, it doesn't really matter unless it starts to get in your way, unless you mm, stop mm. doing things because of that thought. Right. And, okay. If that thinking is holding you back, then it's bad, no matter what it is. Yeah. Like, if you're waiting too long for clarity before, if you want to call it clarity, if it's clarity, if you're waiting too long before you act until you have a perfectly clear image, I think that that's getting in your way, because you can always shift it later. Well, yeah. But you, there are a bunch of, if it's a reason to, to stop you to not, for not moving forward, mm-hmm. then it's problematic. Yeah. Okay. So, fear or clarity, it, it, it's only a problem if it's getting in your way and stopping you. Yeah, you're right. So okay. I don't know if it, if it matters which one it is. Either way, it works the same, I think. Yeah. Is that helpful? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, basically, that's, that's the thing is if it's, if it's, let me just say back what I think I heard you say. If it's, you know, clarity is good, but you can't get clarity unless you have some more contrast. So don't be afraid of the contrast that you need to have clarity. So if you go out there and you do something and you get some, and you're like, oh, well, this sounds like a good idea. Boom. And you get some fucking contrast. Yeah. Then you're like, okay, well, now I'm clearer. But I don't want to be like, I don't want to be anticipating contrast. I don't want to be like, like, like looking for contrast around every corner and, and like not taking action because there might be some contrast there. The contrast is great. Well, that's true. And I think if I get stuck like this, what I've been doing is, and you've told me this, find a place of comfort. Get out of that little squirrel cage yep. of overthinking yep. um, because I'm not comfortable there. So it's not bringing anything good to me. You're right. If I'm juggling too many things in my head at one time, that's not a good place for me to be. So just find something else to get excited. Find something else that feels better. Yeah. And eventually the light bulb will go off mm-hmm. uh, and it will give you something to be excited about. And that's what you're going to focus on. And then all these other contra- contrasting ideas are just going to disappear. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How's that? Like, what are you going to... Because you could start posting on Instagram right away. I'm trimming this marijuana, and uh, okay. while I'm talking to you, I've been doing that all this time. And oh, nice. Yeah, because there's giant, there's giant fucking piles of it. Let's let me just put it that way. It's oh a lot. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So. Um, <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, okay. I, well, nothing then. That's fine. No, 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 no. no. I, I was what I was gonna say was, you know, here I am trimming my first marijuana crop. And yeah. I don't really, I mean, it's legal in Michigan. I'm, I have a medical marijuana card. I don't fucking care. I've already showed my marijuana smoothie on the fucking podcast. So, yeah, I can Instagram that right now. And You could, and you're going to be talking, and that's going to be fantastic because you are fabulous. Like, it's going to have the camera on you with your beautiful face and your beautiful eyes, and you're just going to be cutting. Because that's when you really shine, when you are just unscripted being you. Like, those are the best moments of you.